never underestimate the importance and the power and the influence of sex in a relationship. That is a big mistake that moralists commit. This is still the fourth season and we are still talking about relationships, love affairs and everything that concerns the world of eros between people. Um, one of the things that I consider the most important in a relationship, it's, an, it's a huge component in a, in a relationship that I want to be successful, is sex. And unless you really dislike the sexual act in itself, or unless your libido is extremely low, you are going to notice that this is extremely important. It's a fundamental component of a successful relationship. Why am I telling you that? If you take a relationship and you remove the sex from that, you are basically friends. Friends living together, friends sharing a flat, friends sharing the bills, friends who are there for each other in case uh, something happens. But one of the strongest bonds of a relationship between two people when we are talking about love affairs, when we are talking about a relationship that is not friendship, it's a relationship boyfriend-girlfriend, boyfriend-boyfriend, girlfriend-girlfriend, whatever you want, it has to include sex. And why am I telling you that? Because a lot of people underestimate the importance and the power of it and the influence of it. And a lot of people say that it is superficial, that what matters is the person and that the person is a nice one and so on. I'm gonna be very honest with you and very straightforward. The vast majority of people that I know that say that they cheat on their partners, the vast majority. There are exceptions, yes, of course there are exceptions as there are exceptions for everything in life. But the vast majority of people that I know that say, no, we are such a good couple, we work so well together, and blah, 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 and blah, 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 but there is no sex in the relationship, either both cheat on each other or one of them cheat on the other person. Do you want a relationship like that? Do you want to have something like that? No, no one wants. So my suggestion is, if you're dating someone, the first thing you want, as soon as possible, uh, if not in the first date, on the second or the third, as soon as possible, is you want to have sex with this person. And you want to really, really, really dedicate time to that. You want to, to invest in it. You want it to be a very nice occasion because you want to have time, you want to be able to enjoy, and you want to be able to get to know and see how the person reacts. And why am I telling you that? Because whether you like it or not, whether you think I'm being superficial or not, after sex, a lot of things get clarified. A lot of things get clear for both of you. If the sex is not good, there is a big, cha a big chance that the, the relationship is not going to work well. I basically don't know any couple, any partnership, any two people that are together that... Uh, have bad sex or that don't like having sex with each other and the relationship is good like it's a long-term one solid everything works well and most important of all that they don't cheat on each other because yeah you might tell me oh no i know a lot of people who are stable and they basically don't have sex they got married and in the last three years they didn't have sex you can tell me you know people like that and uh i know people like that i have friends that told me marriage is the end of the sex I don't have sex with my partner. A lot of people told me that. A lot of people who got married, they all cheat. No exception. The ones that I know, they all cheat. And I don't know about you, but I'm still a little bit romantic and idealist. If I'm with someone, I don't want to cheat on this person. And um, if I feel that I'm interested in someone else, I just break up. I'm very practical and pragmatic in that sense. So if you're looking for a decent, stable relationship, consider that. But it's not only that, you have to think of the following. If you are extremely satisfied and fulfilled and happy about your sexual life, the chances that you are going to be interested in other people are extremely reduced. Of course, it can happen. There are people that are just like crazy. They, they cannot stop thinking of it. They don't care about their partners and so on. But if you have a very fulfilling and satisfying sexual life, the chances that you are going to look other ways 
on on your life are reduced um i can tell you not only from personal experience but from talking to people that i know and um, if you know people that are different from that i tell you it's just the world the world is vast and big and uh, people come from different backgrounds and they have different cultures so they will have different behaviors but one thing that i've noticed basically all over and i can tell you that it's extremely important and it really really gives the direction of a relationship is if sex is good then you ask me should i stay in a relationship where the sex is excellent and amazing and i've never had anything better than that but out of bed is just hell it's just a psychopathic relationship a sick relationship where we are always fighting and uh, damaging each other and doing harm to each other and so on no of course not and i broke up relationships like that where sex was extremely good top of the top and uh, i noticed that i was going to get cancer by the age of 40 or something like this if i would still date this person because it was only headaches it was only problems it was only discussions and fights all the time so i decided to break up and it was very difficult because it was really 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 good and uh, i encourage you to do the same what you want is to find a sane relationship where sex is good and if you tell me that doesn't exist and that is a dream that is idealism i tell you it is possible i've had it i know people who've had it and uh, it's not an illusion it's not an ideal or anything like that you want to look for a relationship where sex is good because you might not believe it but when the sex is good the compromise between both of you increases the friendship that we were talking about in the beginning of the video increases the commitment to each other to the, the dedication to each other increases the care for each other increases why well that's basic that's very simple because you start getting addicted to that person because you start getting more tied to that person once that person brings you so much pleasure once that person once that person brings you so much joy in bed and you want to look for something like that my suggestion for you be you a man or a woman that's not an advice for men that's an advice for both sexes men and women when you start dating someone try to go to bed as soon as possible try to have sex with this person as soon as possible and see how you feel see how you react see how the person feels see what is the result after it's done see if it is done with passion if you both enjoy it or if both of you or one of you is treating the other just like a piece of meat uh, from which one can extract pleasure because that's also something you don't want to be involved with you don't want the other person to consider you just a piece of meat you want the other person to like you as a person to enjoy being with you but also to have an amazing sexual experience when you are in bed and if when that happens things just go aces things are just amazing and you have one of the greatest moments in your life think about investing in that think about staying there longer and checking the possibilities of a long-term relationship of course once time goes on once time goes by you are also analyzing other things you are paying attention on this person's behavior on how the person treats you on how the person deals being in a relationship if the person is jealous possessive this and that you are always paying attention to that if you have the same goals if you have the same projects if you support each other and so on you're going to be paying attention to that but uh, if you want to have an honest transparent and and decent long-term relationship do not neglect the importance of sex and do not think that it is superficial and that people are talking uh, um, of it as if it was just like oh if you remove that from a relationship there isn't much left it is because it, it is very important it is crucial you are not going to have a relationship if that is not included because otherwise as i said it's a friendship it's an enterprise it's a business is whatever you want to call but it's not a relationship the one we are talking about in this season it's any other kind friendship business partner or whatever if you want to date someone and be together with someone 
you have to consider that and you have to know that it is important. Do not be a moralist, do not be conservative in terms of habits because that is only going to bring you trouble. See you in the next episode.